All right, well, this measures weight distribution heel to toe, the vertical bar, and then the horizontal bar measures right to left weight. So it looks like you got about 60% of your weight on your right side of the dress, which is fine for a driver. It's a good takeaway. Setup looks good. Now you do have a little bit of weight on your heels. You got your right toe. It's got a little more weight because you actually have a closed stance. Yeah. So that has some effect on where your weight's distributed, but you got more on your left heel. See, so you got a little bit of a closed stance. Mm -hmm. Now we're working on taking it back straight and then a flatter swing plane. You got it upright pretty good, but your swing plane still stays in the cone. It's a little steep. But not much. That's pretty good. There's impact. At impact, your weight's not enough onto your heel. You got weight on your left foot. It's more on your toe. Okay. And that is why, Charlie, you have thrust in your pelvis. That is why this pelvis position, if you got more weight into your left heel at impact, you'd be pushing that Right. hip back and you you know you so that's something you know again you want to practice that away from the golf course away from the range just getting a that 45 degree angle drill where you put a club across your right toe and left heel right there and you want to keep those hips deep and they're not very far forward but they are a little bit mm -hmm. and I think it's primarily due to that weight thing you should have a little more weight into your left heel at impact, but anyway, it was a good shot. Much improved. I'd still say the swing's a little too upright. I like it to be a lower. Okay. I think overall, you want to feel that left arm is pinned against your chest, and you've seen, heard me say that a million times, yeah. but. Good swing.